Good evening, everyone, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. It is so great to see you. Um, hopefully, when you came in, you picked up not only a prayer card, either the cream if you prefer the English transliteration, or the salmon if you prefer in Hebrew, but also a special song sheet for tonight. If you didn't, you might want to grab one of those at this time, because we're going to want the words for the songs and our music. Uh, take a moment, if you will, if you don't recognize the people around you, just to say hello, wish them a Shabbat Shalom. It's a great opportunity for us to build our community before we begin. I think, we'll, I think we'll begin. Okay. You can find the words for your, our opening songs on your song sheet, and please sing along. Bim, bam, bim, 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 bam. Bim, 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 bam. Bim, bam, bim, 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 bam. Bim, 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 bam. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, Shabbat 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 shalom, Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom, Shabbat 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 shalom, Shabbat 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 shalom, Shabbat 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 shalom, Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom, Shabbat 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 shalom, Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Bim bam, bim 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 bam, bim 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 bam. Bim bam, bim 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 bam, bim 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 bam. So our next song, Hava Nashira. We're all going to sing together and sing this song of praise to God, but we are going to divide in half, and we're going to sing all together first. We're going to go through all three of the different sections, and then Rabbi is going to lead this side of the room and start off, and then this lovely side of the room gets to follow me. So follow along and try to sing, and if you don't know what's going on, just pick any one of the three, and what's nice is it's around, and everything will go, and you will sound beautiful. Hava, Hava na shira, shir hallelujah, shir hallelujah. Hava, Hava na shira, shir hallelujah, shir hallelujah. Hava, Hava na shira, shir hallelujah, shir hallelujah. Continue singing together with the words of Lechune Ranana. <laughs> 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 
top of our prayer cards with our opening meditation. I hope you'll join with me. We live in a very busy world, but we put aside one day every week for rest. That day is Shabbat. Shabbat is the time that we come together to be with ourselves, our families, our friends, and with God. Let me learn to pause if only for this day. Let me find peace on this day. Let me enter into a quiet world this day. God, we thank you for our special holy day. We thank you for helping us make our lives holy through this celebration of Shabbat. <coughs> we begin with Shema and its blessings as we call ourselves to worship with Baruch Hu and Rise. Yeah, I lie, 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 l
and the women danced and danced the whole night Towards the bottom of our prayer cards, I invite you to rise for the tefillah. Adonai esubatai tiftach ufi agiteilatecha. Adonai open up my lips, let my mouth be declare your praise. Baruch Adonai. Eloheinu, Elohei Avotenu, Bimotenu, Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzhak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Ha'gibur, Ha'nora, El Helyon, Komel Chasadim Tovim, Bekonei Yaakov, Bezocher chaze avorim aot, umevi gula libne bneham, le ma'an shemo be'ahava, melech ozeh umoshia umagen, baruch ata Adonai, magen Avraham, vezrat Sarah. God, each of us hears you differently, yet you are the one God for us all. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob each heard you in a different way. To Abraham, you gave courage. To Isaac, you brought comfort. Jacob learned that you are everywhere, even in places he didn't expect to find you. Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah each heard you in a different way. To Sarah, you brought laughter. To Rebecca, you gave strength. To Rachel, you taught kindness. And to Leah, you brought love. May each of us hear you in our own special way. And may we always feel your protection. We praise you, eternal God. You are the shield of Abraham, the help of Sarah, the one God of all Jews and all the world. We continue privately, and you may be seated.
prayer cards over. At this time, as we prepare for our Torah reading, it's always an honor and an opportunity on Share Shabbat for us to call up some of our youngest members of the community to see if they want to help open up the ark. If anyone wants to come up here, you can be young at heart or <laughs> young at age, whichever you prefer. Some of us are both. <laughs> Not me. Come on up. We'll ask everyone else to rise. <laughs> In Kamocha, Elohim, Adonai, Rein, Kamasecha, Malchut Kamachut, Polo, Lamim, Umem, Sharcha, Bechodor, Vador, Adonai, Malach, Adonai, Malach, Adonai, Malach, Adonai, Malach, Adonai, it's easier to be up above it. Um, for those of you who picked up a Plaut Chumash, the larger of the two blue books when you came in, you can follow along in this week's Torah portion on page 195. 195. And our Torah portion this week is Vayetze. And it has a very famous passage that we'll be reading in which Jacob leaves from Beersheba and he comes to a certain place where he falls asleep and he has a spectacular dream, and you'll hear about it in just one moment. Um, again, if you'd like to follow along, it's page 195, and for those of you who still have your prayer cards in front of you, <laughs> at the top on the back are our blessings for the Torah reading, and I in invite you to join with me together. Baruchu et Adonai hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Hamavarach Leolam Vaid Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim Venatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah
Ve'etze Yaakov mi Beersheba. And Jacob went out from Beersheba, Ve'yelech Harana, and went in the direction of Haran. Ve'yifagab amakom, and he arrived at a place, Ve'yalen Sham, and he lay down there, Kiva HaShemesh, because the sun had set. Ve'yikach me'avnei hamakom, and he took from among the, um, the place some stones, a stone, Ve'yasa me'rashotav, and put it underneath his head. I don't know about you, but that's not the most inviting pillow, and it works really well for him. He has the greatest dreams of his life. Vaishkav v'makom hahu, and he lays down in that place. Vayachalom, and he dreams. Vehine sulam mutzav artsa, and he sees, and there is this ladder that is based in the ground. The rosho magia hashemaima, with the top going into the sky. Vehine malachei Elohim olim v'yordin bo. And behold, he sees that there are angels or messengers of God who are going up and who are coming down on it. Vehine Adonai Nitzava Lav. And behold, God was by him, standing by him, Vayomer, and said, Ani Adonai Elohe Avraham Avicha. I am Adonai, the, um, the God of Abraham, your ancestor, Belohe Yitzchak, as well as the God of Isaac. This land upon which you are laying, for you I'm giving it as well as to your offspring or descendants. And your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth, ufaratsta yama vakedma tsfona vanegba, and they shall spread out Yama, which is toward the sea, which is to our west, the Kedma to the east, to the north, and to the south. V'nivrechu v'cha kol mishpachot ha'adama uvizarecha. And through you, all of the families of the earth will be blessed, and also through your descendants. V'hine anochi imach, and behold, I am with you. Ushmarticha b'chol asher telech, and I will be with you and guard you in all that you are doing. Vahashivoticha el ha'adama hazot, and return you to this land. Ki lo e'ezavcha adasher im asita et asher dibarti lach, because I'm not going to stop until I've accomplished what it is that I promised you I'm going to do. Vayikatz Yaakov mishnato, and Jacob got up from his sleeping. Vayomer, and he said out loud, Achein yesh adonai b'amakom hazeh, v'anochi lo yadati. Behold, God was in this place, but I did not know. And he was shaken and said, How incredible, how awesome is this place. There is none other, this is none other than the house of God. And this is the gateway unto heaven. We'll stop there. It's a good place to stop. Let's join together in the second blessing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher natan lanu Torah temet Bechaye heolam nata betochinu Baruch atah Adonai Noten haTorah. And while we have the Torah in our midst, in a moment we will recite what we refer to as our normal Mishaberach, which is our Misha Berach for healing. But before we do that, I'd like to invite forward any of our newest members. I see a handful here tonight, and you can define yourselves by newest however you would like. But um, I would say, if you haven't been recognized up here for being a part of our community in a very long time, and you joined here not so long ago, please come forward. We would love to see your faces and be able to recognize you and welcome you into our community once more. Say Sharon and Corey, do you want to come on up? Not that I'm calling people out. <laughs> I can't see well enough to do that tonight. <laughs> but if you all want to come forward, the most important part of Temple Israel is its community. We are who we are because of you and because of the members who give so much of themselves and participate and bring holiness together with us into this space while we connect with ourselves and with each other and with God 
And having you as a part of our community is so very important to us. And we just want to let you know how glad we are that you're here and how much we cherish you and hope that we have many more years together building and creating wonderful memories. And um, I don't want to. I'm the crier. No, no, I'm the crier. <laughs> Um, but no, it's wonderful, and we are so glad that you're here, and so I just want to say, may the one who has blessed and kept our ancestors continue to bring blessing to you, some of our newest members, that you may continue to thrive and achieve all that you hope to do in all of your endeavors and find a home and a community here with us. We welcome you. May you continue to find blessing on this Shabbat. Thank you. Welcome. And we also wish another Misha Berach, as I said, for healing to all those in our community for whom we are thinking especially of today for whatever it is that perhaps keeps them from us tonight. We think of them and pray to God that God will bring healing in whatever way it is that they need healing at this time. Misha Berach avotenu v'imotenu, Misha Yivarech v'irapeh atacholim. May the one who has blessed and kept our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, continue to bring blessing in our generation as well, to bring healing to those in need of healing, to bring strength to all who are in need of strength, as well as inspiration and um, an encouragement to those who are taking care of them. Baruch atah and rofei cholim. Blessed are you, O God, the one who brings healing to those in need of healing. We can join together in a moment with the words on our prayer card, but tonight I want to wish especially um, a healing to Susan Walsh, Charles Fia, Kim Howell, Flo Schmall, Julie Wagner, Joanne Weinberger, David Woods, Eleanor Must, Ann Burke, Eileen Eady, Ruth Meadow, Catherine Cooper, Rachel Magdalene, Ruth Hirsch, Sid Gross, Sharon Hatcher, Dave Cox, Cicely Nathan, Jim Locke, Linda Dean Harris, Marty Sacker, Gary Pacernick, and Bob Kahn. And any other names that you would like to bring forward, I invite you as my hand goes around the room to call those out. We join together with the words of Misha Beirach, again in the middle on the back side of your prayer card. Misha Beirach, avotenu, mekora abracha, rise as we lift and dress the Torah. <laughs> Yeah. 
So our Torah portion this week talks about finding God in a place that Jacob didn't expect to find God. And I have a story for you with a little bit of a similar theme that has to do with a holiday that is happening this month. Can anybody tell me what that holiday is? Stephanie! Hanukkah! Is there excitement? There's, there's very quiet <laughs> enthusiasm for this holiday. <laughs> so many years ago, a farmer drove his wagon through the town of Chelm. Though this is a little bit different than most Chelm stories if you know Chelm. Being a farmer, his wagon was filled with tools and a hay fork in the back. And as he was traveling through this town, his wagon hit a bump but he didn't notice that his hay fork fell and bounced out of the wagon. So he continued on his way. Keep that in mind. So these two men of the town, Beryl and Fival, happened to pass the same road a short time thereafter and saw this object in the road. What is this? Beryl exclaimed. It looks like a hay fork, his companion said. Are you sure? asked Beryl. Look at it again. It has nine branches. Eight are the same size, and the ninth is longer than the others. I only know one object that looks like this. What do you think he thought it was? A Hanukkah, a Hanukkah menorah. It must be a Hanukkah menorah. But How would a Hanukkah menorah come to be in the middle of the road? Fievel responded, I know, it fell from heaven. And this is where we get the Chalmites and their great wisdom for those who know the trope. Beryl becomes concerned. We can't just leave a Hanukkah menorah from heaven sitting in the middle of the road where a wagon could run over it. It's already nearly dusk. It happens to be the fifth night of Hanukkah. We better get it cleaned up quick and bring it to the synagogue before the town's candle lighting. Certainly we should use such a heavenly menorah for our lighting as soon as possible. So they scrape off the dirt, polish the tongs until they shone and oiled the handle until it gleamed, and ran to the synagogue with it. And Bunam called out, who was in the synagogue, as they are putting it into a bucket of sand, what are you doing in the synagogue with a hay fork? I just cleaned the floor, get it back to the stables where it belongs. A hay fork, Beryl calls back, look at it again. It has nine branches, one longer than the other. That's no hay fork, it's a menorah. Bible thinks God threw it down from heaven. We found it in the street. Bunam, being on board, now joins in in their rush to get this menorah ready. And he takes six candles, I told you it was the fifth night, but we need one for the shamus, and puts them onto the hay fork. Then the people of the town begin to arrive for services to light the menorah and, of course, walk into the sanctuary and wonder why there is a hay fork standing in a bucket of sand. And so the trio enthusiastically tell them, no, 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 open up your eyes. Can't you tell it is a menorah? And they tell them about it being sent to hev- sent from heaven to Chelm. So, of course, as the Jewish community is wont to do, Word spreads quickly, and people from the surrounding towns come to see this miraculous menorah of Chelm. And once you know it, but one of those visitors happened to be a farmer that had driven through Chelm not so long ago. And he takes a look and goes, That's no menorah. That's my favorite hay fork. And of course, the people of the community give him the explanation that it is in fact a menorah, as we have heard a few times already. And he goes, no, 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 it's my hay fork. I broke it once, or it broke once. I fixed it with with that metal collar and and screws. I know it is mine. 
you can look at them right there. And of course, sure enough, he could describe the hardware on this hay fork menorah quite perfectly. And so now a debate ensues, some thinking this is a hay fork, some thinking this is a menorah, because us Jews, we would never argue. So of course they turn to the rabbi of their synagogue for an answer, who takes a look at it and goes, it does indeed look like a hay fork, and it does indeed have the properties of a menorah. We'll have to ask somebody with more wisdom. So they bring the menorah to the seer of Lublin, a wise and insightful sage of the time. He greets them, hears their problem, and like the rabbi says that it does in fact resemble both a hay fork and a menorah. So which one was it? The seer of Lublin calls upon the wisdom of his teacher, Rabbi Isaac Loria, who some of you may have heard of, who had a special talent for recognizing the divine sparks in otherwise ordinary objects. And the seer tells them that his teacher taught us not to look, not to be deceived by the outer appearances of objects, even the ones that appear most ordinary, but that we must constantly search for the hidden sparks of holiness in those objects. And he says, this is what you people of Helm have done with this hay fork. You have found the holy sparks within it and lifted up the hay fork and transformed it into a menorah. And once an object has been lifted into holiness, it cannot return to its ordinary status. It's true, the rabbi chimed in. Now that it has been a menorah, it will always be a menorah. But of course, our farmer kind of gets the last word and calls out, but what about me? I still need a hay fork. And the seer of Lublin says, and you will have one, and turns to the people of Chelm and says, the farmer has come in good faith, and he has a case that he owned a hay fork. And he is owed for his hay fork that you have now taken and turned into a menorah. And he instructs them to pay the farmer for the hay fork, and I could give it to you in the story, in the, mon in the money of the time, but it's a hefty amount for a hay fork. So the people object, saying it's too much for a hay fork. And the farmer turns back around and goes, a hay fork? Can't you see it's a menorah? And he chuckles, the people compensate him for his hay fork menorah. And this is the story of the famous menorah of Chelm. And I like this story not just because it is one of the lesser ridiculous stories from Chelm and actually kind of makes some sense, but because it has a good, but also because it has a good message about finding the holy sparks or the divinity in the mundane, especially, which I think is especially relevant at this time of year. And as perhaps in your homes, especially with more of our youth here this evening, um, I can think of some menorahs that are not necessarily crafted from hay forks, but perhaps rulers, pasta, clay, or other ordinary objects that we've turned into something beautiful for this holiday, even if it's a little less ornate than a store-bought menorah. But because we have made them into one, they are holy and they carry holiness. And this will be my annual PSA that if you are using and actually lighting a homemade menorah, please make sure it is fire safe before you let those candles burn all the way down. End PSA. So as we enter December and we dust off our menorahs or make or find or buy new ones, however grand or humble they may be, I hope your Hanukkah is filled with light, with holiness, and is spent in good company. Shabbat Shalom. And I'll invite you to rise if you are able and find where we return the ark in the middle of the back of your prayer cards. And for our youth that are still in the room or have stuffed Torahs, you may come forward to help us open the ark and put your Torahs away. Es chaim hi la machazik im ba et om chera meushar
We continue together with the words of Alenu. Alenu the At this time, we think of those who we have recently lost, members of our communities, who we recall at this time, as we did, um, as we do it every year at this season. We are in a period of Shiva for Richard Rich. We are in a period, or not a period, but we are observing yard sites for Mildred K. Altschul, Jean Bachrock, Rita Begley, Diane Bell, Minnie Burchus, Sandra Brecker, Faye Fleece Cantor, Lozier Kaplan, Samuel Cohn, Joseph Eisenberger, Rosalie Ock Eisenberger, Mardell Friedberg, Harry Gershow, Morris Goldberg, Melvin Goldberger, Dorothy G. Harlan, Gerald Cantor, Sylvia Katz, Samuel Claren, Connie Kusworm, Esther M. Liebensberger, Sadie Office, Meyer Ostrov, Harold Progozin, Esther R. Ross, Rosa Shadel, Sue J. Silverman, Jacob L. Simon, Max Weiner, and Jamie Jo Weprin. As my hand goes across the room, if there's anyone else you would like for us to think of at this time to call into our midst as we think of them, please do so. Or perhaps if there's a name that should be pronounced more correctly, I invite you to call that forward as well. I'd like to invite those among us who are remembering or in mourning to please rise first. And we rise together as a community as we recite the words of the Kaddish that can be found at the bottom on the back side of your prayer card. Yit Kadal Vit Kadash Shemei Rabah, Be Alma Divra Chute, Veam Lich Machute, Be Chaechon, Veomechon, Uva Chaye, the whole Beit Israel. Bagala uvizman kariv vimru amen. Yehesh me rabba mibarach le alam ulalme almaya. Vit barach veishtabach vit vaar vit romam vit nase. Vit hadar vit ale vit halal. Shme de kudsha brihu. Le ela minko birchata vishirata. Tushbechata venechemata. Da amiran vialma vimru amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, Vechaim Alenu Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. O se shalom bimromav, Huya se shalom, Alenu Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who grieve, as we say, Amen. At the bottom of your prayer card, we join together for our closing prayer. 
We thank you, O oh God, for our family and for what we mean and bring to one another. We are grateful for the bonds of loyalty and affection which sustain us and for the capacity to love and to care. Bless our family, our congregation, and our people with health, happiness, and contentment. Above all, grant us the wisdom to build a joyous and peaceful home in which your spirit will always abide. Amen. Amen. We'd like to wish everyone a Shabbat Shalom and hope that if you had signed up for uh, joining us for dinner, you will make your way down to Gimel, where in a few moments we will begin with our candles and our kiddush and our motzi. And we look forward to celebrating the rest of Shabbat in whatever way it is that brings us joy. This is the day that God has created. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.